So this is going to be a very basic tutorial on Audacity. I know when I got started using Audacity, I didn't know a lot of the shortcuts. I didn't know a lot of basically how to use it. And this really could have helped me out in the beginning, at least when I started for, when I first started using it. So before we begin, let's make sure that our microphones are connected properly and let's make sure that they're selected within the microphone icon right there. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure my Yeti is selected. And then for the speakers, you would just choose your speakers or uh, headphones, whatever you're using. And that's where the sound is going to come out of. So anyway, once you have a song that you want to import, or if you did want to record something, you'd simply just, let's say uh, you want to record something quickly, you would hit the record button. And now, right now, I am speaking and it is recording. So now once I push stop, if I record again, it's going to record on another line. And I'll just show you guys quickly. Hit the record so as you can button. see, it's recording now, on right another now, line. I am speaking and so it is now recording. It's going to play the so now once I push audio stop. from this one and audio from this one right here, if I press stop. Let me just show Hit you the really. Hit the record so as you can button. see, it's recording now, right. right. You see, if I were... Let me just delete that quickly. And that is control K. I will have the shortcuts posted so you guys see exactly what I'm doing. So now... If I wanted to record after that, even even if I would push record and I would click here for the next segment of where I want to record, it's going to record on a third line. It's going to continue making lines, and this can become quite annoying when you're when you have to edit a bunch when you have to push all the tracks together, all the segments together. So a short way of how to do this, I'm just going to show you guys quickly before I get to that. It's going to record on a third line, and now I don't want that. I want I want it to record. On the same line every single time. So a nice shortcut that I use is Shift R. So you're going to push Shift on the keyboard and R together. And as you can see, it's going to record on the same line. And to stop it, you would just simply click on Stop. And if you want to continue, you would click on the segment where you want to continue it. Shift R again, and it's going to start recording on that same line. So that is really handy. Now, something else I want to show you guys is if you did want to delete something, or let's say you just recorded a segment from there on, from here, from this dark line right here, and then on. If you didn't like that, you just push Control Z, and that would remove what you just recorded, that last segment that you just recorded. That is undo. So let's say you did want to record uh, audio, or even, sorry, let's say you wanted to mess around with an audio track. You would dump that in there, let it upload into there, and now you can mess around with it. You could Actually, this is the zoom in tool right here. You would use the zoom in tool just to get a better idea of how the track looks. And let's make that full screen. And here's how you would move it around. And let's say you go back to the selection tool. Let's say you didn't, you, uh, let's listen to this. Let's say you just wanted that part there. You'd simply do control C or control X. Control C is to copy. Let's say you just wanted to add something at the end. You just Control V, and now you can play that song, play that, that last thing there, that last segment that you just added. Now let's say you wanted to remove a certain piece from there, you would do Control X. Let's just play this before so we get an idea. So let's say you just wanted that to loop right straight away, you would just do Control K is to delete, and watch this. Let's say you just wanted to delete all these extra long things here. Just do Control K again, make sure you're on the stop. Now let's play that. You know what, let's delete that part too. We'll get a really close. Up. Now obviously that doesn't sound right, but I'm just showing you guys how this tool would basically be used on a very basic level. So again, that's Control K. I will have the shortcuts posted on the bottom of the screen here, somewhere on the screen. So you guys get a good idea. But that is pretty much how you use Audacity. It is very basic, very simple. There's This this tool is very powerful. It, can, it gets more advanced, but I don't really deal with that kind of stuff. I just want to show you guys the basics. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. If you did want to see more content like this in the future, give me a thumbs up so that I know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the flip side.